Hi there. I'm here to talk to you today about how to pitch your business in a way that's memorable. And I'm going to give you a technique that I call Mad Libs for Pitching. So every good pitch, whether it's an elevator pitch, a three minute pitch at an angel forum, or even a 20 minute pitch at an investor, starts with a strong opening sentence. And I can't stress to you how important getting this opening sentence right is. So let's take a look at a model, uh, essentially a Mad Libs model. My company, your, insert your company name, is developing a defined offering uh, to help a target audience solve a problem with secret sauce. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, it's not. Uh, most entrepreneurs mess this simple exercise up. So let's take a look at an example. My company, Socialista, is developing a social utility to help female consumers find deals online faster. Not so bad, not great. Let's look at ways to improve it. So we're going to start with the offering. Now, the first thing you need to do with an offering is be incredibly specific about what you're building. So it's not a social utility because that could be a power company for all I know. It's an e-commerce site, right? That's a much clearer way of saying what you're making. Um, you want to avoid buzzwords. I've actually heard someone say mobile social CRM. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's an iPhone application, right? You don't need to litter your pitch with buzzwords. And you want to avoid adjectives. Don't say something like revolutionary service. Uh, say what it is, back-end software. You don't need to embellish what you make. Just say what it is. So uh, next, let's take a look at the audience. Rather than saying female consumers, which is a type of demographic, try and be more specific, such as new parents who are female, or even 18 to 25 year old female parents. But the more specific you are, the better it is, the more it makes you look like you're, uh, you understand your business. You wanna specify your market. So rather than saying something really broad and, and undefined like artists and music, musicians, which could include jugglers for all I know, uh, you wanna say unsigned alternative and electronic bands, for example. And last but not least, you wanna clarify the, the buyer, the individual, especially if you're working in B2B markets. So don't say large businesses, because First of all, I don't even know what that is. Is it a Walmart store, Walmart the company, IBM? I just don't know. Say something like purchasing managers at multinational companies. So this actually specifies who in the business will be buying your product or service. Um, so now my company Socialista is developing an e-commerce site to help new parents who are female find deals online faster. It's a little bit more specific but it still can be improved. So let's take a look at the problem. Um, you want to make sure that the audience can relate or understand uh, what the problem is that you're trying to solve and especially what you're building. So a lot of times people can be very vague here, find deals online. Well, I can find deals online right now with Google. So how are you better than that? Um, you also want to hint at a revenue model because just finding a deal online doesn't mean anything, you, you need to theoretically have some sort of hand in that deal to make money. Um, and last but not least, don't forget the secret sauce. And this is the way that your business either uh, differentiates itself from the competition or hooks up with the consumer in such a way uh, that makes it memorable. So how does this come out now? My company Socialista is developing an e-commerce site to help new parents who are female shop for hip baby products at wholesale prices with automated ordering of diapers and other staples. So the shop for hip baby products at wholesale prices, that's a cool problem statement, right? You, you don't associate hip products with cheap prices. And in terms of the secret sauce, this idea of automated ordering, yeah, that's something that keeps parents coming back because they're really busy and if the diapers come every month, instead of them having to go online and ordering them, that keeps a brand affiliation going, etc. So you can try this yourself. Again, my company, insert your company name, is developing a defined offering to help a target audience solve a problem with secret sauce. Again, sounds easy enough, but it might be harder for you 
Uh, good luck with your efforts, and I hope you get your opening sentence right. Thank you.